The mixture of water and ethanol proves to not have ideal behavior. When mixing 50 milliliters of each component, the total volume does not equal 100 milliliters. This is due to intermolecular forces and binding spaces during the mixing reaction. In this presentation, I will be going over the procedure of this reaction and the IM forces that are created as a result. For this experiment, I will be using 50 milliliters 95% ethanol. Ethanol is dyed green for visibility. The solutions have been measured exactly with volumetric flasks. And the clear flask is 50 milliliters of distilled water. First, I'm adding ethanol to a new 100 milliliter volumetric flask using a funnel to avoid spilling solution in order to keep exact measurements. Please take note of the measure markings on the flask and where the mixed solution adds up to. As you can see, ethanol plus water causes a decrease in total volume. Here is the photo of the standard water addition from the beginning of the presentation. Water is dyed yellow. As you can see, ethanol is drastically lower. The total volume in the ethanol water reaction decreases because ethanol only has one oxygen while having six hydrogens. This means that there is absolutely no way that every hydrogen can produce a hydrogen bond. However, the ratio in water of oxygens to hydrogens is 1 to 2. This means for every one water particle added, the ratio of oxygen to hydrogen decreases, meaning more and more hydrogen bonding can occur. When they are mixed, the forces between molecules become stronger and thus brings them closer together. Also, because of ethanol's shape, no perfect geometry can be met, so clumped, but still scientifically and mathematically correct, bonding occurs. Here is a photo of the bonding structures in liquid water as a comparison. Interestingly enough, the boiling point of the solution has been experimentally found in chem by chemists to be between that of pure ethanol and pure water. This means that the solution's ion forces are weaker than water, but stronger than ethanol. You hopefully haven't had too much experience with alcoholic beverages, but as you know, drinking alcohol has ethanol and usually trace amounts of other alcohols like methanol. Because of the volume decrease when adding water, some alcohol experts say there is no perfect mixture of water to alcohol, especially in drinks like scotch. Thank you for listening.